everyone, it's Jojo. And for today's video, I wanted to show you uh, the items I received from my family for my birthday. And as part of the day on my birthday, we also went thrifting. So I wanted to show you uh, a few of the items that I picked up at the thrift store along with um, an antique store that we stopped at. So the first item I'm going to show you is these cocktail napkins. And this was a gift. I have actually had these on my wish list for quite some time. They're so neat. The box had originally 24 napkins with 12 designs, and I have 19 napkins with 11 designs. I'm missing the design that has actually this little uh, bird on it, and she would have like a pink feather on her napkin, but that's the design that I'm missing. But I think these are so neat. They all have like a 3D um, little, I don't know, design on each one. And the sayings are so cute on it. And so I was so excited when I got this. I, like I said, it was on my wish list and I didn't think I'd, I have not been able to find these. I saw a couple on eBay, they were, they were just a little bit more than I wanted to pay for them. So they were a great gift. The other item that was on my wish list is Mrs. Beasley, and I'm sure a lot of you are familiar with this doll. She was featured on the TV show Family Affair, and I just always really wanted one of her. She is not perfect. She does have some condition issues. Um, her, uh, like, talking, like, the box, she's supposed to talk and she doesn't, and she's missing her glasses. Um, and she does need cleaned up and she's been restitched in areas, but I love her and I'm so thankful my son got that for me. It was a very thoughtful gift and I might even make her like some glasses or like I joked and said, well, maybe she has some LASIK surgery and she no longer needs them, but I just love her and she's perfect to me. Here are some items right here that I got from my parents. It is a McCall magazine, September 1905. And I'm not gonna open up this magazine right now. It's super, super fragile. And the cover is actually off of it, but it is so neat to look through. And then my parents got me this little Roy Rogers book. And it is made by Whitman, Whitman Publishing Company. They got me some different like antique postcards and I love postcards. I always, I've collected them since I was a kid. And then my dad found these for me and these are all playing cards with different um, like Western stars, Hollywood stars on it. And they're really neat. And it looks like somebody had tacked them all up on a board. They all have a hole at the top of them. So those are my gifts. Now let me show you what I found thrifting. This item actually I found this summer. I did it find recently on my birthday. I found this item this summer and I wanted to show it to you and I decided this was a great time since I had it out for my birthday cake. Um, it says happy birthday and it is metal and then it has a little switch right here on the side. And then it plays happy birthday and it turns. Isn't that sweet? I'm going to turn that off here. But I set my little birthday cake on top of that. Okay, I'm going to come on up here. So all of these were in a bag at the thrift store. And... This bag was $1.29. Right off the bat, I had noticed this, and this is an antique hanky. And it says Souvenir France. And I have a few other of these um, that are the tissue silk. A lot of the soldiers used to come over and bring them from France when they were across the seas for their, their wives and their you know, their family, but um, I saw that right away, so that 
really piqued my interest as far as getting the bag and it was only like a dollar so I thought I'd go ahead and pick it up but here's some more hankies that were in it I'm not gonna unfold all of them a little crocheted heart oh that's upside down but what I was really excited to find was these and these were in the inside of the pile so I didn't Look through it all and the bag itself was taped up but isn't this cool this is a child's hanky and it has mickey mouse and rocket ships and it does say walt disney productions there in the corner but oh it's so sweet and then there's a couple other child hankies this one Let's see if i can get it unfolded here this one has a little duck, little puppy dogs in the corner. And then this one just has like a little rabbits around the outside, little squirrels. And then this one's probably my favorite one. And it has a little kitty like a majorette with the little toy soldiers around the edge. But those are so cute and I don't have any child hankies that I can remember. I think they're all more adult, a lot of florals. And there's this one, it's got a little, a little um, embroidery on it. This one is monogrammed with H and this one is also H. And then somebody had painted this little girl scout on her on this hanky, isn't it cute? And then there was two more, and these were 79 cents a piece. And these are quite large. But look, you think that was the price? They both say $28 on the outside. But I pay 79 cents, so I'm not sure if that was the original price that someone was asking for. This one has little crocheted edges to it. And then I was at a charity shop and I found a, a basket, it's actually behind Mrs. Beasley, let me grab it real quick, full of vintage happy birthday items. I couldn't believe it. What's the luck of that, right? So on the hang tag, whoops, sorry, on the hang tag it said $5, but behind a lot of these different, um, let's see if I can find one, uh, maybe not. Oh, maybe I took them off. They said $5 individually also. So I just assumed that everything was individually priced in the basket. And the lady came over and said it was $5 for the entire basket. And on top of that, they were doing a sale. So it was an additional 20% off. So with tax, I think it came to like $4, which was for something, which is really cool. So I'm going to show you some of the items were, were in the basket. There is these candles. I really like the graphics on this one. Some birthday candles. Little birthday pick. Set of uh, like Dixie cups for desserts. I love these plays. Aren't those neat? I love the graphics on that. And the back says Reed's Party Plates. So that was in there. And then a couple of these little plastic. This one says Mother Dear and then Happy Birthday. A couple candle holder packets. Halo Birthday Candle. These cups. Betty Bright Bake Cups. And two of these are identical. They're a candy cake decoration. Isn't that something? That's so cool that that's in, was still intact. The lady said that it's a charity shop, so people will call them and say, hey, I have some items to you know donate, and then they go to the houses and pick out what they want for their shop. And the shop actually has new and 
used items. So they're kind of picky and just decide what they think. And she said this lady had all kinds, it was almost like a time capsule of a house. And she said there were all kinds of things that had never been opened. Now this is the back I wanna show you. And I actually have the other part of it on the table here. So let me put this back. This box was on its side in this basket. And it is by Denison and it's these birthday seals. On the outside of the box, it says 14,000. I'm not sure if that's exactly how many of these are, but I will tell you this. They dumped and they fell all over. And I had what felt like thousands of these things to pick up. I was able to stack these in here. It was a disaster, as you can imagine. And so I put the rest of them in here. These are the ones I just ran out of room to stack and honestly it was just getting too tedious. But I do have thousands of these. They are so cool. They all say the same thing on them which is birthday greetings. So I'm going to try to remember to put those on cards. Now the other items I have left to show you is things I just I can show you real quick. There were things I had put in the birthday basket that were, actually they belonged to my grandma, so. But these are things I, I had already had. But I thought I'd share. These are some cake, um, they hold the little candle there and then the numbers for the top of the birthday cake. And then there's these picks and they're all like nursery rhyme. It's all different kinds in there. I had just divided these up a long time ago. These ones are just uh, like a, a dove and baseball bat. Whoops, a couple of clowns. And these are more holders for candles. I used to have these in, all in like a glass pitcher um, so I could see them all the time, but I had to move some stuff around on my shelf, so I just put them in the birthday basket here. But this is a little clown with balloons and a light switch. And this is really cool. This was actually a find from the Goodwill um, a little while back and it is a chalkware clown. He does have like a thumb that's broken. But I just thought he was really sweet. So I think that's everything. I'm gonna stop, step back real quick just to look at everything. Oh, you know what? There is actually one more thing. I found this at the thrift store, and if I can find the picture I took of the before, I'll insert it after this video. Um, this was really neat. It's $3.99 is what I paid for it, and it is a hand-forged candlestick. It's so neat, and it is marked on the bottom. I took some barkeeper's friend to it and shined it right up. And on the bottom it says, let's see if you can read that, it says Hessel Studios. And this is a studio, I guess, out of California where he makes, the man makes all hand forged um, candle holders. So I thought that was really, really neat. And like I said, if I can find the picture, I did take it before to show my husband, then I will go ahead and insert that and put at the end of this video. Well, thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed my birthday um, version of a thrift, um, thrift haul. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed already, go ahead and do so. I have a lot more uh, vintage finds to come. So thank you so much and take care. Bye.